And as folks are joining here, we are so excited. We'll be getting started in just a couple minutes. And as you are joining, I, I want you to answer a question for us. Type in the comments, what's your top marketing goal for the year? Okay, so just think about that. Put it in the comments. I'm actually going to uh, take the slide down for just a second here as we're kind of getting started. Um, tell us what your top marketing goal is for the year. Sarah, I bet you know you work with our KCM members and agents all the time. There's probably a lot of different goals that folks have out there that they're working on right now. Oh, 100%. And I would, I think the top one right now is just getting listings, you know, with everything going on with inventory. Yeah. I'm sure you all on here can, can relate. And just that's the number one thing that I hear right now. I'm going to be sharing a couple of others. Um, that I hear from members, along with a lot of different examples from uh, members that I talk to on a day-to-day -day basis. But I'm really excited to hear what all of your goals are for this year, and hopefully we'll be able to help you out with some of those. Yeah, definitely. So everybody, in case you just hopped on since I last said, uh, in the comments, tell us what your top marketing goal is for the year. We'll kind of look at some of them as we're getting started here. And uh, can't wait to see what some of those are. Uh, thank you to everybody who's who's hopping on right now, uh, taking time out of your day to join us for the three marketing trends that will grow your business right now. Um, you know, just like Sarah said, in terms of listings being top of mind, the spring market is literally right around the corner. You know, we just had the Super Bowl, so sports-wise, it's baseball season, which is kind of insane. Uh, so whether you folks are, you know, whether you're feeling behind or you're just looking for that extra edge as we are rounding into the spring market, you've you've come to the right place. So uh, as we get started here, you know, first I wanna introduce you all to the lovely faces that you are currently looking at right now. I am Jack Goodall, I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing here at Keeping Current Matters. And I am honored to be joined by the one, the only, the incomparable Sarah Elkis, KCM's very own Director of Learning and Development, Sarah, Thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? Thanks for having me, Jack. Um, this is amazing. Um, as always, I, I love participating in these with you. We've done a lot of webinars together. We've gone live on Instagram. I think this is our first Facebook live together, so, but internally so. at KCM, I'll, I'll share a little uh, fun fact. We refer to this as the Jack and Sarah show. So I just want to welcome sure. you all to the Jack and Sarah show. True. And <laughs> True. One other fun fact before we get in, and this is about Sarah. Sarah is known around KCM for two things. Those two things are helping agents and crushing Peloton. Uh, so there's actually a rumor going around that for every mile that Sarah bikes on her Peloton, an agent gets a lead. So oh, I think we might bring that to life today right here. Uh, seriously, though, what we're talking <laughs> about here every single day, we get to help agents like you. Uh, make the most of your marketing efforts with just some simple but powerful tools and tactics that make things easy and are going to save you time. So that's what we're going to be doing for about the next 30 to 45 minutes. The, that first 30 minutes is Sarah and I are going to be walking you through these three trends. And then the last 15 minutes, we want to set aside for some Q&A. So we're going to be taking your questions and answering them live right here. So be sure to get those in the comments as well. Um, as we're going forward. And, and right now, you know, I know some of you folks are putting in your biggest marketing goals right now. I'm checking some of those out. Uh, we've got getting listings from lots of people. Huge. Walt generating leads, massive. Melissa, branding and local presence. That's a really, really interesting one. Uh, Sarah, I, I feel like that's one that you hear a lot about from our members too. Oh, 100%. Um, I hear that all the time. I do a weekly webinar with our new members and members that have been around for a while, and that's been brought up time and time again recently. Yeah, yeah. These are all great answers. Thank you, everyone, who's been putting your uh, goals in the comments. And again, please don't forget to submit your questions as we go along today. We'll be getting them to in the Q&A section at the very uh, end, probably in about 30 minutes or so. Um, and that way, we're just going to start to hop in. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. Uh, and get things going as we start to talk about the three marketing trends that will grow your business right now. So let's hop in. The first uh, one that we're gonna talk about here, so what's the one thing that experts say you need to do? And what that is, is that you need to be a market expert. And 
what we call this trend is, you know, that market experts are in control right now. And, you know, what, what the funny thing about that is, is you know, at KCM, I, I wouldn't even argue that this is specifically a, a trend necessarily, but uh, uh, it's certainly truer now more than ever and really keeping current matters more now than ever. So if you know what's happening in the market, Sarah, and, and you're prepared for what's next and you are in control, you have that confidence there. And, uh, you know, Sarah, I did also want to share a quote real quick um, that I thought really just hit the nail on the head um, for this point here. So uh, this comes from Showing Time, and this says that market data has always been a powerful tool for real estate, but 2020 marked a new high point for how data was leveraged to encourage informed decisions and to help real estate professionals re reinforce their status as market experts. And, and Sarah, I feel like this one could not be more true now uh, than it has ever been. Um, and I feel like that's something that I know our KCM members are, are absolutely using every single day. Oh, 100%. And a big question here, you know, um, do you have to have a PhD or do you have to be a statistician or something like that to get to this? And the answer is 100% no. And what I'm going to walk through today are a bunch of different examples from real life agents, just like you, that I want you to be able to relate to, you know, they had to all start somewhere. Um, so that's really what I, I, I want to do today in my place here. But before we really dive in, there is a question that I'd love to ask all of you um, is how confident are you talking about the market right now? If you could put that in the comments, we'd, we'd love to hear that. And then we'll come back and revisit that. But how confident yes. are you? We just want to know. Please let us know. And also one thing I want to call out, sounds like we have some friends from the spam community that are joining us in the comments today. Do not follow the links in the comments from the spammers, folks, okay? Anything that we'll be linking to for this event, we're going to put in the Facebook event itself, uh, separate from this video right now. And we're also going to send a follow-up blog that's got all of this information in it as well. So, you know, let's just, let's take a, a quick step back here as um, as you guys are answering that question, you know, in terms of putting this into practice, you know, one thing I should say right at the top here is that we're going to talk about three trends today, and you're probably going to leave here feeling all jazzed up, but also maybe a little bit overwhelmed about all of this. So make sure you commit to at least one of these. That's what I'm going to ask of all of you. Commit to at least one of these uh, tactics. It's going to be a simple yet powerful change, and you're going to really feel the impact of this, not just this year, but going forward for your business. So for this first one, in terms of how to be the market expert, let's talk about, Sarah, let's, let's talk about some actual, you know, real ways to put this into practice. So I'm going to run through a, a quick list of some simple ways to implement this into your routine. And then Sarah is going to show you some real life examples from this. So how to be a market expert. First and easiest is just to sign up for some real estate news and insights and updates. I mean, this is literally getting it delivered to you, right? I mean, it does not get that much easier. You're, you're not having to do any work. It just shows up in your inbox and boom, you're, you're done. You're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Silver platter right there. <laughs> Silver platter. The KCM blog is an amazing way to do this. It's completely free. Every single weekday, you get a new uh, blog or infographic totally uh, uh, up to date about the latest housing trends uh, going on in the market. Another one, and that's that comes back to what we're talking about with the first one there as well, is find a good source for reliable and expert backed data. This isn't just sort of the like, hey, my uncle said this, or hey, I've been reading about this and some really you know, deep threads on, on Reddit or something like that. You know, This is from truly data backed, trusted resources out there that you can back up your um, uh, conversations with when you're talking about this with your clients and, and your, your leads and things like that. Another one, uh, this is kind of taking it to, to the next level, is adding a blog to your website. Sarah, I know this is a big one that we uh, do a lot at KCM as well. 100%. As Jack mentioned, we have a blog. So our members love the blog. Um, it's easy. It's uh, daily. So they get their updated content on a daily basis. And they're able to post that on the website, use on social media, email communication. So definitely adding a blog is the, the quickest and easiest way to become that market expert. Definitely, definitely. Another one, don't just be aware of the local trends that are happening in your market. Think bigger picture as well, because that's really what your clients are going to be hearing about much more as they tune into social media, broadcast news, and things like that. I, I'm sure a lot of folks on here probably saw the other day on a major publication 
USA Today, uh, that there was an article on their front page that said, we're in a housing bubble right now. And if you've been keeping up with Keeping Current Matters or with other trusted resources about what's really happening in the housing market right now, you know that that's not really true. So you want to have your, your facts and information together, as well as your informed opinion about those things, so that you can go out and have a, a real conversation with folks who might be confused about what they're seeing out there on the internet. Um, another one, sign up for market update webinars. Uh, we do those on a, on a monthly and regular basis at KCM. Our members get the, uh, uh, the monthly market report uh, as well, Sarah. I know that's something that's huge in terms of keeping folks up to date about what's happening and, and what that means for agents as well. Mm -hmm. And the my most recent monthly market report was just released today, by the way. So there Yes, you go. <laughs> that's right. On the 10th, on the dot, it's like you know, it's like the, the post office, you know, like come rain, come <laughs> shine, you know, you can always can always rely on it. Um, all right. And then the last one is that you need to be infusing market news and insights into your content, social media, and email campaigns. This might be a little bit of a sneak preview to what we're going to be talking about in just a minute here, but making sure that you're not just letting this information come to you, that you're you're sharing this information as well, Sarah. And that's, that's what we're going to start talking about in just a second here. Um, one last thing I want to hit on is if, this, if these are some things that you want to try out, go to kcmblog.com. Sign up for our free daily blog. It is so easy. It comes to you, like I said, every single weekday. And if you are looking to take it to the next level, adding the blog to your website, personalizing some of this content, integrating it into your other marketing materials, go to trykcm.com. Sign up for a 14-day trial. That's what KCM is all about for you. Sarah, take it away. What are some real-life examples for some real agents that we can actually show like what this means? All right, let's do it. First up, uh, we talked a little bit about the blog. This actually isn't a real life example agent here. This is Casey Myers, <laughs> um, our True. KCM agent. I lied agent. already. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Um, but members absolutely, as Jack said, they love their daily blog because it's just easy. It's delivered to you every single day. It's personally branded to you. Um, and you can really stay on top of the market this way. Adding a blog into your market will quickly help you, you know, drive traffic to your website. So you'll get all of those people on your website. You won't have to send them to another source for that or send them to another page. They're going to stay That's right huge. on their page which is huge because if they're on your page, you have market information that's relevant and up to date, they're going to browse around at other things on your website. So what else do you have going on there? Do you have you know, your listings, your testimonials? So they will stick around on your page. So that's really, really key. And so a blog, yeah. in my personal opinion, is like the number one and easiest way to keep not only keep up to date on what's going on in the market, but then share that out with your clients and potential clients. That's a great point. Okay, my mistake. Let's get to an actual real living and breathing agent and not <laughs> just right. Casey I didn't Myers. mean to call you out on that. It didn't No, nope. you got to. <laughs> we got to be open and real. We are, we are about the facts here. On, we on are. So this is an actual KCM member and an agent just like all of you. This is Holly. And I talked to Holly last year, like really at the height of COVID. She knew immediately that her followers just needed that special guidance and direction and attention. And at first she, she said, you know, I was scared. I didn't really know what to tell them, but she knew one thing. She needed to get on video and put this message out. So she told me that she committed to making one video a day for Instagram. And obviously that's really hard at first to get into that rhythm and yep. it, takes, it takes a lot of time, but she really turned to KCM for her national data. But what she really did was carve out some time. I'm talking like five, maybe 10 minutes each day to compile local data. She's out in Calabasas, um, in California, and that quickly transformed her into the online knowledge broker. And she was actually um, on a webinar with Jack just a few months ago to talk about her Instagram strategy and how she really transformed. So you can check that out too. Um, we have all of our webinars in our training center within my KCM. But um, yeah, Holly is just a really great example of someone who turned that market, turned to that market exactly when she needed it. And now she is that trusted online knowledge broker. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and it led to a lot of, of, of organic following uh, on her Instagram as exactly. well. So using that to, to create a bigger following as well. Um, all right. And then we got Robin here as well. 
Yeah, so I'm not going to read all of these quotes for you. They're just there. But um, Robin, she also posted in our Facebook member group, and this was back in, I think, April or May. She really started posting all these market updates to her social media twice a day and incorporating them into her email drip campaigns, so much so that her community recognized her. She was contacted by her local news and she was featured in three what? different news stories. So go Robin. Um, go Robin. She said it was like a huge win for her, obviously. And now she's really seen as that trusted go-to source in her community and people still continue to this day to reach out to her. Um, she really grew her following. She had more engagement um, and she got some listings out of that. So, you know, all she had to do was just incorporate a little bit of that market data and get yourself out there. That's, that's, we're going to keep saying that throughout, like you just have to get yourself out there is what it boils down to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We're not saying that, you know, become the market expert. We guarantee you're going to get TV spots on the news, but we're not, not saying that as well, folks. So exactly. you know, try it's and, called, anything try, is try possible. <laughs> exactly. Um, we, we did get some great answers. I appreciate everyone who answered the question about how comfortable you are talking about the market. We got some real pros out here. Jim, Taylor, Mary Jo, you guys like are crushing it out there. Um, mm -hmm. Elizabeth, Donna, we got some other folks that were saying, hey, I'm, I'm kind of confident or I'm a little bit newer to the field. This, if there is one place where you should be starting, it's here. It's becoming the market expert. Um, folks, you know, your clients, your prospects, your leads, they're, they're not going to be as interested in terms of, oh, I sold, you know, X amount of houses or something like that. If they don't trust, you know, that you know what you're doing, that you uh, know the market and that you're going to be able to help them make the best decision for them and their family, uh, which ultimately means that you care about them. So mm -hmm. study up on the market, share that information with your clients. Um, you know, there's just so much uncertainty in the market and the world right now that this is really what your clients are looking for. They need an expert. They need a cool, confident leader. And, you know, if you aren't one, it's, it's time to be one. So, you know, as, as to kind of finish up this, this section here, you know, being a market expert is no longer just an option. It's, it's a requirement. Um, and that's, that's that. So we're going to hop right into our second trend, what your marketing content is missing right now. And we previewed it a little bit, but here it is. Your marketing content needs to be hyper, hyper relevant to what's happening right now. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna again, start with a quick quote here from Tom Ferry, you guys probably know him. I think this really crystallizes this point where you gotta be able to speak intelligently about what's happening in the market. And you need to make sure, how are you sharing that information? You know, um, you need to make sure you're getting it in front of your consumers. And again, being informed on both a local and national level. Uh, Sarah, you know, I feel like this was, this was definitely something that, you know, we've talked about with KCM members, and this is something that they do a great job of, of taking, especially visuals and being able to share that with their, their following as well. Oh, 100%. I've seen them share, you know, their infographics, their social graphics, um, the ways that they're incorporating this into their marketing is phenomenal. And we've uh, really started following what people are doing on Instagram. Um, Instagram mm -hmm. has obviously become huge right now. So people are hashtagging, you know, keeping current matters. So we love following them and seeing the trends that they're doing. So I'm just going to put a little plug in for if you don't follow keeping current matters on Instagram, you should because you can really Do see other members and even um, people that are not members. Some of you on here are probably sharing that as well. So you can go in and rip off and duplicate as Tom Ferry, I think that he kind of coined that term. So that's right. Do a Tom, do a Tom says, go in and rip off Perfect and duplicate. Perfect tie-in. That's, that's awesome. And you, know, you mentioned Instagram there. And I think, again, that takes us back to sharing a lot of this information. It's not just about facts and figures. It's about how can you, you put this into a form that's easy to understand. And that's why visuals are so important. I've got a pop quiz for everybody on here right now. I think looking at this slide here, humans process visuals faster than text, right? I think everyone knows that. Can anybody tell me how much faster humans process visuals faster than text? Can anybody tell me right now? I how many times? I shout out the answer because I know. Yeah, Sarah, <laughs> don't you dare. Okay, if you guessed 60,000 times faster than text, then you are a grand prize winner of just being a know-it-all, I guess. Um, <laughs> But integrating visuals into your marketing content is really invaluable. Um, you know, we got a, 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 you know a bunch of great examples to show you here, Sarah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna 
hand it over to you um, to talk about uh, one member in particular, I think is doing a fantastic job with this. Sure, and if you are a KCM member on here, you, you probably heard me talk about um, the this member, Lance, there he is. Um, Lance, I talk about him all the time because he is out in Hawaii. So KCM's data is based, based on a national level, but we've already talked about, you know, you have to be a market expert, you have to have hyper relevant data. And what he really does a great job at is hitting both the macro and the micro market. And where he does this the best is he uses his buyer and seller guides. So he walked me through actually just a few months ago what he does. We hopped in a quick Zoom call. I'm telling you, it took him less than five minutes. He went into his LMS, grabbed a couple of these charts, put them in a document, um, customize it a little bit, five minutes. So he grabs that from his LMS or uh, his local association of realtors. He goes to those two sources. And the guides are really one of the best ways to get that hyper-relevant content out there because you have a variety of different formats that you can use with your guides. You can use them on social media. You can share them on your website with a lead capture link. You can incorporate them into your email drip campaigns and even the good old fashioned print. So if you still like <laughs> yeah. knock or use these at your open house or even in your listing presentations, you know, you have so many different options with the guide. So just wanted to give a shout out to Lance and really the big impact here is that you're giving your clients and your potential clients that info they need right now on the spot. And they're really going to remember that and you when they're ready to make a move in the future. So. Um, yeah, that's Lance. huge. Shout out to Lance. I also want I don't to know if he's out. on here today, but if he is, hi, Lance. He is. He is on Hawaiian time. I don't I don't know what time it is there right now. Lance, good morning, what, <laughs> whenever it is. Um, Sarah, I also want to hit on you. You mentioned, again, this is something that I think looks like a lot of work. You, it takes him five minutes. He literally showed you how, how quick it takes him. He's He's figured out a process and now that works for him and he's able to keep his materials super up to date and it's not it's not like a whole extra like job for him to do that it's mm -hmm. very quick very simple awesome job uh, uh with that lance um you know another thing and and even outside of your you know sort of external marketing materials there's also your presentations as well is is another you know great place to be adding in hyper relevant content especially stuff that talks about what's happening in the local and national markets as well your buyer presentations your listing presentations use these as an opportunity again not just to talk about uh, what houses are going for, you know, down the road, or how many how many you've um, sold so far this this year? Talk about what's happening in the national market. Talk about how that's impacting your local market. Talk about what what the, their biggest questions are, and have these you know visuals there as ways to almost get in front of some of those you know frequently asked or, or just difficult questions that that we know that clients are asking every single day. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this is going to help build trust, you, build confidence, and show why you are the best person to guide them through a intense and incredibly expensive process sometimes and that's that's absolutely huge and just kind of going back quickly to lance mm. um i forgot something but I, I thought it would be good to talk about it in here because what lance showed me in that zoom what he he does is he takes all of the content that he shares um that he takes from his lms or his association of realtors or infographics from KCM, whatever it may be. So the combo of the national and the local data. And he puts it all in a PowerPoint template and he updates his, his guides every single quarter when we release them seasonally. So he just pulls directly from that PowerPoint presentation. And so he has this whole process. And yes, it took him a little bit of time on the front end to put all that together. But now when he has to update or wants to swap out things, he can just quickly grab them from that PowerPoint. So that's just a quick tip from Lance. See, another comes back around. Look at all of these connections exactly. that we're making here. Um, and we're gonna, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna hop into our third and final trend here. The best way to connect and, and get your message across and connect with your clients. Um, can anyone guess what that is? Are there, are there any guesses out there? I, I, this is probably like the most obvious one on here. Uh, the answer is video. Uh, and this might actually be like, you know, uh, uh, you know this might be some, some tough, you know, pill to swallow for some folks on here. And I think, you know, everybody who's been putting off making videos for the last couple of years since it started becoming that, oh, the new thing that we need to start doing in marketing, 
the time is here. It's it's no longer you know some sort of option or something that you can keep kicking the can down the road. And it's a necessity. And I think this past year has solidified that it's not going away. It's it's here, and and you really need to be doing it. So I have a question for everybody on this call right now. And I think this is time to be honest. And it's time to you know it's a safe space here. Uh, tell us how many videos have you made so far this year? Since it's January okay. 1st. If you, say, if you say zero, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. What we're doing is we're, what are we starting from, right? And then we're going to build from there. Um, and, and everybody had to start somewhere. That goes for Sarah and myself. And that goes for this member, uh, Sarah, that we were going to talk about, David Garvis. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to share a couple of stories in the next few slides about, again, our members that are real agents just like you. They started from somewhere. So this is Dave Garvis. Um, and when I spoke to Dave, it was probably when I first started at KCM about a year and a half ago. <laughs> Dave told me, you know, Sarah, I have the face for radio. He did not like to be on video. <laughs> he And he does have a very good voice. He could be on the radio, but he is phenomenal on video. But he just wasn't confident in his videos at that point. But he told me, you know, I know I have to do it. So I have to get some reps and sets in. So we started really small. He used his iPhone 5. I remember him telling me, I just use my, my dinky old iPhone 5. Um, he started with KCM videos. You know, these are short 60 seconds or less videos that um, we produce. And he started with short custom intros and outros. So we still had that minute of video that he didn't have to create, but he really wanted to, to connect on a personal level. And now he has an entire series. It's called um, Data Dave. He's, mm -hmm. and he does a twin series monthly report. He incorporates national data using tons of KCM visuals like infographics. He's big on the monthly market report. And he said like being recognized as an expert has produced significant deals for him in the past couple of years. So the big takeaway here is just start small or just start at all. That's you know, right. You just said you have to start somewhere, and it's really just about pushing play. As Jack said, you know, we we've had to start together too. It's it's hard. It's intimidating to get on video, and we get it. Um, but everyone had to start somewhere, and so I thought Dave's example would be a good one for you all to follow. And perfect story. example. Mm -hmm. I I love all of the responses that we're getting on here too. They're they're all over the map. We got some folks who mm -hmm. are making them weekly. We got some folks who are. Are, are, are making, you know, they've made a few so far this year. I want to call out one person in particular, Taylor, made and posted zero, made and discarded 10. That That's a real thing. Like, let's talk about that. Sarah and I have been there. I think a lot of folks on this call have been there. My advice for you is you got to post one of them. You know, there's, you'll all, there's always a more perfect version of the video you're going to make. There's always a more perfect version of this Facebook Live that we're giving right now, this presentation that I'm giving. Guarantee it's not perfect. That's why it's live. You know, there's, there's not a second take or anything like that. You got <laughs> it. We only you get one, one shot those. here. Yeah. Exactly. And we are our own worst critics. You know, you can critique yourself, what you said, if you stuttered a little bit, said, um, the, those are natural reactions. People are going to relate to you if you do those things. If it's this perfectly polished, well rehearsed video, they're going to see right through you. So yes. you just understand. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And back to David, you know, you mentioned this has turned into something, you know, from where he really started at zero and now mm -hmm. he's getting leads from it. And that's, you know, I got another quick quiz for you guys out there. This is lightning round right here. <laughs> How many marketers are using video to generate leads right now? The answer is 81%. And again, you're a real estate agent. You wear many hats and marketer is definitely one of them, especially when it comes to things like video. Video is the best way to educate and engage your prospects and clients. And Sarah's got some great um, examples here of some ways to do that. Um, so we're going we're gonna to go through these. And then remember, folks, we're going to hop into our questions and answers section. So be sure you're getting your questions up. Uh, there's only a few more minutes before, before we're getting to them. So make sure you get them in now. Sarah, back right. over to you. Let's, let's talk about some of these videos. All right. So this one, this is Tamara. I'm sure Tamara's on. She's always on our webinars, Facebook Live. So if you are Tamara, I can't see you, but I hope you're here. Um, she's actually been recording her videos for years now, but this past year, I have to tell you, she's really taking it to a whole new level and she is just crushing it. 
And she really just records her videos in Zoom. She uses visuals from her KCM MMR. She takes the script because that's when we release the MMR, uh, monthly market report, sorry, KCM speak. I have a bad habit of doing In the that. weeds, we're in the weeds here. <laughs> <laughs> we released it today. So that comes with a script and it's timestamped to that video where you could just quickly grab the script. And that's what Tamara does. She grabs it, she pastes it into her own and then she adds in her own spin. She's up in Alexandria, Virginia, um, but she's done a fantastic job. And in March or April, she did a rebuttal against the Susie Orman um, post that she made about, you know, there's gonna be a housing crisis. And Tamara called me, like, I knew that I had to say something. Like I have all the market knowledge to tell her she's wrong. I need to make this video because if, I'm seeing this, my clients are seeing this, and they're going to believe it because it's Susie Orman. So she created this video and got 5,000 views on it. Um, she was so happy. She'd never gotten that many views before. And the takeaway here for Tamara is, you know, we said before, you just got to do it. But once you do it, you have to stick with it because practice is really going to make perfection. I mean, the more and yep. more you do it, you, you, the more reps and sets you get in, you will get more comfortable, you will get more confident, and you will see results. I 100% yep. guarantee that. Absolutely. One thing, you know, I want to call out real quick before we go to the next one is that Tamara found something that made it a little bit easier for her. She found something that just helped her with the script, right? Using uh, KCM's monthly market report or our daily blogs or something like that. That is, that's another way to make this process easier on yourself. Find the part that's the hardest, you know, for you and see and, and get creative about ways like, how can I simplify this for her? If it's just coming up with what you need to say, there's, there's things out there that you can find that are, are ready made to become video script right there, whether it's a blog, infographic, which I'm cheating ahead now. Sarah, so stop me before I, I get too far ahead. Yeah, so I actually, I've created a couple of different videos um, that are, will help you with this. You know, speaking of practice, I had to get comfortable with this. So I do a lot of videos. I'm on camera a lot. I somehow, I like to put myself in really awkward and uncomfortable situations and I just love it. So I made this video just a few weeks ago where I took a KCM infographic and I, I just walked through the process. You know, you can grab the bottom line from our, our daily blog post and use that as your script. You can use the MMR script, monthly market report script. So um, be sure to check all of these out. I know Jack put the, the YouTube channel up there for KCM. Yep. Check these out because we have one on the infographics. We have one on turning your blog. We have the, the number one video you need to make right now. And we're going to continue to record these um, throughout the rest of the year. So you always have some sort of script to go along with your video. So definitely check those out. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Kaylee, who, who does our videos at, at KCM, she is absolutely crushing it. If you guys haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you are doing yourself a disservice. So go check it out. There is literally dozens and dozens of videos on there, just like Sarah talked about, that are going to help you make videos, other marketing. There's market update ones in there. There's tons of great content on there. Go check it out. Um, and then Sarah, our last, last, but certainly not least, uh, uh, member that we wanted to shout out here. Yeah. So this is Carrie white. Carrie has, this is insane to me, but she has almost 20,000 followers. I just checked before we logged in just to make sure she wasn't over 20. We're, we're um, going to bump her right up right now. Right now. Okay. Go follow Carrie. You see her Instagram mm -hmm. um, handle right there. So go follow her. I have, to, I have to email her after this and tell her that we gave her a little shout out, but um, you might be thinking she's in a completely different bracket and she is honestly, but again, everyone has to start somewhere. And when you watch Carrie, if you, if you follow her on Instagram or when you do, you'll see how she's just a natural on camera. It's just a, a gift that she has, but she also put in her work for many, many years to get where she is today. And she takes her KCM blog and turns it into a video. She has her own um, IGTV channel. It's called Carrie TV, where she shares all of the latest housing market trends on a national level, but she also mixes in, she's in Los Angeles, so she mixes in that. So the takeaway here is just to be consistent. So once you start, make a schedule, you know, you know, every Friday an infographic is coming out for KCM. So, okay, I'm going to commit to recording a video on my infographic, or maybe on Mondays, I 
commit to taking the script from the blog and turning that into a video. So if you make yep. a schedule for yourself, you're going to stick with it and your posting momentum is going to continue. Definitely, definitely. And last but not least, this we want a little takeaway here from Carrie as well. Yeah, so I haven't read any of the quotes so far, but I wanted to read this one because I really like it. So Carrie said, I think KCM is an integral part of my business. So if you're a real estate agent and you want to be in the know, an agent of the future and a trusted advisor, I would highly suggest you sign up for KCM. And it was very timely because Carrie and I are actually planning a webinar together in just a couple of weeks. It's going to be on St. Patrick's Day on March 17th. We're having a member webinar where she's going to cover her complete Instagram strategy. Um, it's called from likes to leads. So she's going to talk about how she does get leads from Instagram. She said all the time. But the one thing she wanted to point out was that if you expect endless leads from Instagram, Facebook, social media, whatever, it will ne that will never come. It's really just social proof because you have to nurture those leads. And so the tools that we have given you today we're not saying, you know, if you go make a video, you're, you're going to get, you know, 500 leads. That's not what we're saying. You need to end up nurturing them, but leads will, will follow that. So um, just wanted to share that because Carrie's doing something right with, um, you know, 20,000 Instagram followers. So go check her out. You might learn a thing or two from her. Definitely. And go check out that webinar. You know, Sarah, everything that you and the member success team do in the back end, like we, we're basically skimming the surface of a lot of this stuff, you know, that we're talking about right now, especially whether it's video, social media, any other type of marketing that, that you want to get into. That's where these, these member webinars, these trainings that you're putting on, those are so, so impactful. Those are in our training center for, for members only. I, I cannot recommend those enough. We do not talk about them enough. Um, in terms of, you know, a reason to become a KCM member. So if you want to go to the next level in terms of the things that we're talking about today, that is just another reason uh, to become a KCM member for sure. So as we're, as we're kind of wrapping up here, you know, here are the three marketing trends that will grow your business right now. Again, these aren't just trends that are going to come and go. These are trends that we're saying, hey, these, these are here to stay that have just been solidified by what's taken place over the last calendar year. You got to be the market expert. You need to be putting that information into your content and making it hyper relevant so it's so it's easy and engaging to share with your clients. And you gotta be making videos. You gotta, gotta be making videos. So again, uh, I'll go back to what I said early on, which was, you know what, if you're looking at this list and you're like, there's no way, there's no way I can do all of these right now, pick one. And we'll be linking to everything in the Facebook Live event and posting a blog about this tomorrow as well. But now without further ado, I'm gonna stop uh, sharing on my screen here. Mm -hmm. It's time to get into some of the questions, which you know, I was looking at some of these questions. It's clear what some of the more popular topics are, Sarah, and you, I bet you could probably guess it is. It's, it's video. video. It's, <laughs> it is definitely video. Yes. So I'm gonna start from the top here. Izzy wants to know, how long would you say is an appropriate length for doing a quarterly market update video, Sarah? I would say to keep it, if you're doing a quarterly market update, to keep it 20 to 25 minutes. The monthly market report that we do is around that length. I think if you, if you go anywhere higher than that, if you're doing like a weekly update, keep that super short, like mm -hmm. five minutes or less. But on a quarterly basis, you can get a little lengthier. But when you get up into like the 30 minute, which we're over the 30 minute mark, but it's, you know, people don't have a lot of time. They want it quick. They want it now. So I would suggest staying like 20 to 25 minutes, similar to our monthly market report. Absolutely. Okay. Big question. I think this is the one that everyone wants to know. Sarah, this is from Kathy. How do you generate leads from videos? How do you generate leads from videos? All right. Well, I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, mm -hmm. Because I'm not, I'm not a real estate agent. I've, you know, never had a lead or a listing. But the number one piece of advice that I have for you is just to to be yourself. Because when you can relate to your clients, they're going to work with you. It's it's going to create that lead generation that you need. Um, you don't want to come off as phony or fake. And like we were saying before, you can use the scripts that we offer but mm -hmm. make them your own, you know, sprinkle in some, some funny flair to it, sprinkle in your local flair. Don't necessarily read from a script and just kind of a, a tip. And Jack showed me this. 
there is a teleprompter app that you can use on your phone where it will put your script, you can plug in a Google document and it puts it right next to your camera where you can read it. So that way you're focusing on the delivery and not so much like what you're trying to memorize. And that way you can really make those personal connections and, and your personality will shine through in your videos. So yeah, I know definitely. that was kind of a generic answer, but that is what Carrie always, Carrie White always tells me, like you really just need to be yourself so you can connect with people. And that Absolutely. will ultimately create those leads. Well, and that's and that's what David and Carrie did with with their videos, right? And that's how they're they they've built a system around it. So it's not just you you create video post equals leads, right? It's you need to do you need to be repetitive, you need to be consistent, um, you need to develop you know some engagement and some and some following around it. So whether you are sharing that in places in the community that folks are going to get eyes on that, or you uh, are emailing your videos out to existing clients and you know, sharing them with folks, you know, obviously we know that referrals is is a way to get things um, done in, in the real estate business. Use your content as, as referral piece too. It doesn't just have to be with folks that are immediately in the market right now. Um, th these are all great ways to do it. Um, and Sarah, you kind of answered you kind of answered our next question a little bit. Kimberly, I, I like this one. Perfect videos aren't okay uh, uh, with a little <laughs> laugh afterwards there. Um, we obviously just talked about that a bit in terms of like, I think being, being real is what you were saying is, is what the goal is here. Not, not perfection, especially when you're starting out. Exactly. And I, I do know members that have, you know, they have green screens and they have the big teleprompters and they make a huge production out of it, but we know that's not everyone. I'm, I'm sure, mm -hmm. you know, 85% of you on here don't have a green screen or, you know, a, a whole production room where you can do that. So if you just start small with your phone. Like I said, just be yourself and, and hit send. Don't, don't be like me. I rewatch it a million different times. Um, when they were promoting this on Instagram Live, I was looking back at my video. I was like, oh gosh, I, I shouldn't have sent that. And we, like I said before, we are our own worst critic and you just have to, to shoot it out there because what you look like on video, I hate to say it, but you, I'm being truthful is what you look like every day. And you're not, you know, you're not focused on what you look like all the time. I think we are a little hyper focused of it now because we're all on Zooms and FaceTime and things like that, but just hit send. Definitely. All right. Two, two more questions here. Right. One video, one non-video. Last video one, what are some platforms that, that we recommend uh, that especially agents, I would imagine who are just getting started out use for, for making videos? Yeah, so for you know the more simplistic videos that you make that you just want to share on Instagram, like your stories or your feed, you could simply use your iPhone for those. There's even an editing tool that you can use in there. Uh, I think we are sending this around, but Tamara, who I mentioned earlier that makes her videos on Zoom, she has a couple of different softwares that she uses and that video walks through her process, exactly what software she uses. But I know David Garvis uses um, iMovie, you could use Windows Movie Maker, Adobe Premiere. So those are just a couple of different pieces of software. Those are probably the top three, Movie Maker, iMovie, and Adobe Premiere to create your videos. But there are so many more. Um, but check yeah. out that video from Tamara because she walks through her entire production process. Yeah, that video is amazing with how mm. she does that. She she walks you right through it. Another one I throw out there, and Sarah, you mentioned just using your phone. Your phone is, mm -hmm. is the best place to start. You can just record yourself, upload it directly. It's very simple. One recommendation I have is using a teleprompter app. I use this one. It's just called Teleprompter. Um, it's, I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. It's totally worth it because your script, if you have something that you're either uh, writing yourself or or grabbing from you know a blog or something like that, you can paste it right in and it shows up and scrolls right by the camera. So you can read it, but it looks like you're looking at the camera and it comes off really naturally and it's just super duper easy to use. So Genius. can't recommend that enough. Um, can't Jack, recommend Jack that recommended enough. that to me and I use it all the time and it has <laughs> saved me. I send more videos now or like I, I produce more because it's just, you're focusing on what you're saying and not trying to memorize. Mm. And I just feel like it helps the whole flow. That's that's right. Yeah, you you can focus more on on the way you're delivering the message mm -hmm. rather than like trying to remember what you're trying to say. Exactly. You know, that's when you, you start and, to trip up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Don't <laughs> don't try and do that, especially for anything that's over like ten seconds as exactly. well. Exactly. <laughs> um, okay. Last question here. We got this in a few uh, folks asked this a few different ways. What is the 
what are some ways to personalize, I think particularly your KCM content that helps you stand out? I think what are some like ways that, that our members are personalizing their content that helps them stand out? Let's see, personalizing. I would say I'm gonna use some of the examples that we that I already touched on some of the members because I feel like now you know them too. So mm-hmm. Lance with the guides, I really like what he does with his guide because he puts in a letter at the front to his potential buyers or sellers, just kind of a welcome letter. Um, he often creates his own blogs and things like that. So he, you can insert things into your buyer and seller guides or you can remove things. He also has a QR code that he uses on the front that takes them to a landing page on his website that has additional information and all of the rest of his guides. Um, Trying to think of some other ways Um, he swaps out, he swaps out the photos, you know, uh, in Hawaii, Hawaii, we said our guides are seasonal, so we're in the winter guide. Lance doesn't have a winter season. He has pretty beaches and palm trees. So he'll swap that out for local pictures. He has pictures of his family and clients. So he's really made that personal connection right away in his guide and uses that, you know, at open houses, listing presentations, all of that. So that's one way I would suggest to starting with the buyer and seller guides. That's a great call. Great call on the buyer and seller guides. And I think there's some, also some really small things you can do with, with our other content as well, whether it's our social graphics where you can change everything from the color to your logo on there to uh, even different sizing variations and things like that. You can um, turn things into videos. We even we even make videos for folks and a great way to personalize that is add a voiceover to it or, or record your own little intro and outro and things like that. Again, these are things that only you uh, can add your personal touch to and that's that's the best way uh, to go about it. So there's there's lots of little things that you can do to uh, differentiate yourself, stand out, and also just find new and exciting ways to get, you know, all of this really, really important content that we're talking about. We just talked about why this is so important and, and get that into uh, the hands and, and in front of, you know, the, the prospects and clients that you guys are serving every single day. Exactly. Awesome. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Sarah, thank you so, so, so much for joining us. Of course. Thanks for having me. I'm always, always happy to help. And I just want to give a shout out to Jack and our entire marketing team for setting this up for us today. They've done a fantastic job and just having me on. So thank you. And a shout out again to my KCM members that are on here today. Definitely. Shout out to KCM members. Shout out to every agent that's on here looking to better themselves as agents and looking to find better ways to serve your community. Because that is literally why we do what we do. We we want every buyer and seller to feel confident when they're you know in the process. And we know that agents like you that are on here are the best way and the best guide for them in order to do that. So we, we live for this stuff. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, until next time, have a great rest of your day, great rest of your month, and we'll see you soon. I'll be on my Peloton doing my miles for those leads. That's right. <laughs> those lead wings. Yeah. All right. Bye, Bye everybody. Everyone. <laughs>